Ah. Oh. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Howdy, folks. Um, welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play. And before I start, I'd like to quickly talk about the 1.14 update. So, it's come out. I've played it a little bit on one of my friend's servers, and I'm really enjoying it. But I've come to the conclusion that before I switch over, uh, because there's no shader packs out, if there's no Optifine, I'm gonna switch over after I've finished this build. So that includes the rest of the house, as well as the garden we're gonna have. So until then, I'm not gonna update the world, but for now, I think that's a pretty good... Pop I, I just feel like I've already done this in the style that's suited to shaders, so why would I change that, right? So yeah, what we're gonna be doing today is we are going to be extending the house to the end. So this will be the final butt. In fact, it sort of is gonna look like a butt because it's got like that shape to it. I've sort of already marked in the ground how I want it to look. Um, and then we're also gonna have an exit maybe here or either here or here. And then the same on this side. And there's gonna be like, it goes out. Or maybe, maybe the end exits in the middle. And then we have one thing in this corner, and we have another thing in this corner. I guess we'll see when we build it up. But for now, what I need to do is I need to dig out all of this to make way for the flooring. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. So now I'll grab some dark oak wood, and we'll get biggity bouncing on that all right all right all right so we finished the flooring um i'm trying to decide if i want to do like windows or if i want to do just walls but i feel like windows would be best suited especially for this wall Ah, oh, but for that wall as well. Oh, that's so nice of you. Hmm. Predicament. Predicament indeed. Okay, I think it's about time we bought in this. Mm-hmm. Cool. So now that that's done, we can bring the roof in as well. Then we can start on this, because this is going to take a while. I'm thinking the second floor is going to end there. I'm not sure what I want to do in these second levels, though. Like, do I want to do a new room? Uh, like, I don't know. It's, 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 I, don't, I don't know where I'm going with this entirely. That's okay. Maybe if we just start building this up, it might be a little bit easier to figure out what I'm doing. Hmm. Because my original... In fact, why don't we have the two exits as the ends of these? So actually remove this, replace that with dirt. I feel I'm a little bit more confident now. Then I have my bar here, my bar area. Because if I if I wall off my garden correctly and I have it lit up like decently enough, I shouldn't have to worry about having an open doorway. So I can have like big arch arching doors instead. So I feel like that's probably the way to go. In fact, I feel like this is going to extend out too much. I think this is this is going a bit too far out. So what I might do is I'm going to take it back by three blocks. I'm going to take it back by three blocks and we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Just need to fill it back in with dirt. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so step one is gonna be get bucket of water because we're gonna be pillaring up again like we did in that first first building episode. Water bucket, check. In fact, we can probably just do this. Oh, it didn't work. I thought it was MLG Parkour Master. That was is fun. <laughs> If I miss it, it's not going to be fun. Oh my god, this is giving me nausea. <laughs> How many? Okay, so I need to do it two more. Oh, close. Come on. Last one. Yeah. Okay. I'm an MLG parkour master. It's confirmed. Why did I pick it? I'm an idiot. Okay, so we've got our pillars up. Let's think how am I gonna do this? I think I'm gonna do this, do this entire thing again. Once more over. And then here. Here. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go up there. Man, if it was on 1.14, scaffolding would be very useful. But alas, not yet, not yet. I'll stick to my word. Built with shaders. For shaders. By shaders. I'm not a shader, what am I talking about? So this will have all have glass. And there we go. Cool. And in fact. Might just do this. No. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, now let's do the same on the other side. Are you serious? I'm I'm one one log short. Just one. <gasps> oh yeah, I forgot to mention that I have a fishing farm. Oh, I just realized I'm not wearing- I'm not using my resource pack. Huh. Why wasn't that on? Very strange. Probably because I'm switching between versions. Ah! Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. Well, actually, that's debatable. I kind of like the texture pack. This is my fishing farm. I've done quite a bit to try and get some mending books, but with the next update, I feel like that's- this is kind of going to become obsolete. Except, obviously, for getting crossbow enchantments and stuff like that. Because they've removed the ability to gain mending books, or they've removed, like, dramatically lowered the chance of getting them. They've, they've nerfed getting mending books from fishing. So fishing farms for mending books aren't that great. For food, they're great. For XP, they're alright. But for now, um, I might... In 1.13 do a little bit of fishing and try and get maybe a couple more before switching to 1.14 but at the same time is it ruining the experience if I'm just using an AFK fishing farm rather than doing it myself I feel like that might be a little bit a little bit cheap to say the least so we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it I'll decide that probably off camera Hmm. Ha. Aha, I see what I did. Oh! Epic Maverick low gang jump. Hell yeah. Ah! Alright, with the pillar boys in place, we can start. In fact, do we need to get sand for this? How much glass do I have? I have a bunch of sandstone, but. Hmm. Ha. I need sand. It is a requirement now. I need sand for the glass. Okay, I might go farm sand for a little bit. I'll try and find a nice spot after sleeping. And I'll catch you guys once I've got some in the furnaces. Alright, alright. Alright. We have got the sand, as you can see. We've got two stacks and a quarter. So we'll put our sand in here. Let that start up. I'm pretty sure we're doing well on coal. Um, yeah. 
Ah, let's think. Um, we've got that going. I want to have them that big. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, once. Are you serious? Are you. <sighs> oh, that was my disappointed burp. Yeah, that's it. Alright. Boink. Cool. Very cool indeed. Maybe having like a, a stained glass window here would be pretty cool. A full length one and the bar just in front of it. I think that would look pretty neato burrito. You know what? I think I'm going to use a little bit of stripped oak. Not oak, dark oak. Because we have quite a few logs and that means we don't need to go out and get more. So let's think here, logically. How would a bar look? Especially in a place like this. So you definitely have that bit. You have this bit for the brewing stands. These two bits for chests, maybe ingredients and filled potions. And then you would also have, it would be curved slightly for a start. Ah, uh, is this just, no, this is dark oak. <laughs> I thought it was normal oak for a sec. I'm thinking we're gonna need a few of these because that means we can have nice neat ends rather than unneat ones. That's not what we want. Do, oh, oh. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, then, oh, does this, does it work? Yeah, it does, okay, cool. So now we're gonna do that. I, th I, I thought it would take away the extra bark, but that's cool. I like that. We don't need to put the thing on there. In fact, we can decorate that later if we wanted to. Um, so let's go grab the brewing staff so we can bring it over. We can maybe put some decorations down, maybe have levers for taps just to make it look more like a bar. We could put a flower pot down to make it look like there's a... Um, well, anything really. Now, in terms of the um, new textures, I actually I'm very fond of them. I've, I've they've grown on me. Originally, I switched back to this texture pack. I don't know is is it the develop? No, the developer textures are um, the old textures in 1.14. I mean, and then the default Minecraft texture pack. That's the that's the new textures like stone and gravel and sand and stuff they've all changed in fact most blocks have changed especially wood planks and logs um a lot of the uh in fact um maybe all of the ore blocks like um gold blocks and diamond blocks and emerald blocks they look different as well you've got new sounds for uh, note blocks if you have different things beneath them. I'm going to store a little bit of stuff away real quick. Now I should be able to pick everything up. So this is ingredients. Let's put those in there. Here are the actual potions. Cool. Maybe have another chest here for all the awkward potions. Just for now, we'll sort everything out later, but I feel like moving it is the most important thing. I haven't really experimented around with villages and stuff and pillages, um, simply because I haven't found them yet on my friend's server, and that's just what I've been playing over the past few days. I might give you a tour of my stuff. I experimented with a lot of the new things like crossbows and note blocks and stuff. So. Let's do some decorations on that thing. Uh, we can get some buttons if we want. Maybe oak. Maybe some pressure plates as well. I'm thinking maybe birch pressure plates. We need some levers, so we'll grab some sticks. There we go. Okay, so. I'm gonna get two of these. I'm gonna grab another button. I'm gonna grab a couple of birch pressure plates. And how am I doing on clay? Have I even got any yet? I have. How's my 
plaster. Oh, my glasses. Oh, I forgot I put all that in there. <laughs> Extra food and such. The food's from the fishing farm, obviously. Um, I'm gonna pop three clay in so that we can have some bricks, which will be used to make a frat flower plot, which... Flower plot? Really? Flower pot? Which will be used to simplify the cup. So, I'm thinking like that. Maybe. Maybe it should be more like this. Because in the new update there's barrels, so this that would be a better stand-in for what I'm about to do, but for now, I think this is the best we're going to get. So what we need is we need to do this. We need to put a block in the back. Put this here. Put the item frame. No, put the lever there. Item frame. Switch it down. I'd, I'd say that looks like a keg of some description. I like it. Um, then next to that we'll put this, and then next to that we'll put one of these, and then we'll get... In fact, how many would that require? It's seven, eight. So we've got two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. We'll do this. Just add a little bit of decoration. Grab that extra pl pressure plate, put it there, maybe here. What the hell? Oh, there we go. Um, we'll grab those bricks real, real quick. Flower pot. Woo! Put that here, maybe. And then, on top of that, we'll get some birch stairs. Wait, do we already have some? More like birch slabs. Yeah, that's a bit better. We'll have two little stools. One there. Maybe one here. Cool. And then maybe we should add a little lever thingy. Not lever. What am I talking about? A trapdoor. And then spruce is going to more closely match the colour of this wood. There we go. Oh, doesn't that look cool? There you go, we've got a little bar going. So that's the bar. We'll add some more details as we go, but for now I think that's pretty cool. Maybe we'll have some bookcases going up the sides. We have books. Do we have any sugar cane? Did I plant some somewhere at some point? Okay, that wasn't meant to happen. I swear, I swear I did. How would I have books otherwise, right? Did I put a sugar... I can't remember now. If I would have put it anywhere, because I don't... Oh, this is strange. Okay. The hunt for the sugarcane begins. Because I used to have it on the aisle, but that's cleared now. So, did I plant it somewhere else, or have I literally just left it and not replanted it? In fact, I don't even think I saw any in the chests. Because there's some down there. Because if I don't have anything, I should probably plant some. Bet you I'll look into a chest and there's gonna be like a million, <laughs> a million sugar cane. That filled double chest or something, but just in case, I'll plant that there. Let that grow in the background whilst I build. Okay, so that's done. Maybe we should do the roof next. Make sure it fits up nicely and make sure there's enough room for all the glass that we'll be putting in. I'll be using, um, glass panes instead of like I don't know ah ah English I, I, I just can't be bothered anymore jeez language am I right <laughs> who needs it I'm gonna need way more stairs than that ah what am I doing I'm tired here we go I'm just gonna convert all this wood into stairs all enter stairs. And I mean, okay, I'm gonna need even more than that. So, great, fantastic. I should probably grab some dark oak in general. 
Or maybe I could use up these slabs. That's probably a good idea. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go up to the roof. Should be able to park all my way up there. Some one way or another. Huh. Huh. Here we go. Wow. Parker legend here. Do you want to be as cool as me? Because I sure as hell wouldn't. Ah. Aha. Maybe. I'm gonna need more spruce wood. Spruce wood. Why? Dude, that squid just suicided. I don't know if you saw that. Let me collect his sack. His sack. I'm hoping to God that that's all the wood I'm going to need. Because I do not want to collect anymore. It's so boring. I was fine with it before. You know, people change. People change. Cool. And now we'll extend the roof so that... It's still rendered in this shape, except it ends on like a diagonal, and then a diagonal, and then a diagonal, and then a diagonal, if that makes sense. I think that will create a cool effect, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I don't know if I'm going to use stone bricks like I did here, uh, in this, this little atrium area, the little atrium extension and exit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. No 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 no. No no no. No 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 no. No, the the exit definitely needs to match up with this. That's that's just gonna pee me off. That's gonna grind my gears, man! I do not want that! Oh my god! I cannot I just on a scale of one to even, I just can't. Ah! Let's get back up. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. Sorry if my voice is a bit croaky as well. I'm feeling a bit of a sore throat coming along, you know? Mm hmm Okay, can I make it? <gasps> oh, beautiful. I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. Okay, so now I've matched it up with the roof, which is a big old relief. Uh, now I need to fix up the little flooring area to look a little bit neater. It's a little bit kerfuffled, isn't it? Oh my god, how dare I use a swear like that in front of you? What is wrong with me? Actually, no, that could work if I put spruce wood as in like a two by... I don't know how many, 10? Although maybe I should just give it the extra window. Nah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I need to sleep. It's getting foggy and I'm scared. Woo! Okay, so now that it's daytime, we can grab some spruce. Spruce. Wood. <gasps> What's wrong with me? Spruce planks, that's what I meant. Mm -hmm. 360. Ah! Ah, my toes! Uh-huh. 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 Let's try this again, shall we? There we go. Very good, very good. Ah, aha, uh -huh, it's coming together. Oh, I can imagine the garden already. <sighs> yes. Oh, and then we can turn that into like a huge waterfall going down into the water. Ah, ah, ideas, ideas. No, let's just concentrate. No more ideas. Just do stuff, just do, do the productive. Yeah. Okay, so what color should I use for this glass? Over here I used gray. Light gray, I think. Here we go! Great eye. Light great eye. Wait, was it light gray or was it, was it gray? Ah, sugar. Ah, sugar indeed. In fact, I should have like some spare, shouldn't I? Yeah, it's light gray. Cool. 
Put these books back where they belong. In the trash. <laughs> Who needs books, am I right? Up top! Ah! Ah! That didn't work. That wasn't a high five. Uh, <laughs> I, like, hit my friggin' fingers on my, like, wrist. Like the bony... Ugh! We'll just grab a s two stacks of that. I don't know how much we'll need, that's the only thing. Well, I might... I said I was gonna do the roof, and now I'm just putting glass... <sighs> Why am I like this? I get distracted so goddamn easily. I think that's as good as we're gonna get it, right? Oh, it's all a bit confusing, honestly. Let's just, let's just, let's just, yeah, that's all you need to know, that's all you need to know. Oh no, there'll be like a corner. Very delicious, quite tasty. Oh my god, this is, this is actually so confusing. I don't know what's happening anymore. I think that's right. Oh! What have I done? I think this terraforming went well. I like it. I like it. Okay. No more talking. I'm just gonna finish the roof. Uh, yeah! Three, two, one! Ah! Well, look at that. Our roof is complete. So, instead of doing it as a diagonal roof, and then go in, like, in an M shape. Um, I've actually just done a normal roof. And then I'm going to put some... I'm going to remove this pillar. And I'm going to move it to here. So that it matches up with these. Um, I'm still going to have the window on that diagonal. Except you'll just be able to see the pillar through it now. Uh, I'm just going to do that to... Because it just looked really strange when I was building it. It's just like... Ugh. Um, so I'm gonna quickly patch this up and then I'm gonna start putting in those pillars again and then I will fill in the glass and then I'm gonna figure out how to light this place. Um, I'm gonna figure out what to do with these balconies up here and then we'll get onto the garden. So I'll see you in one second. <laughs> Hmm. Very good. So now that that's done, let's get this glass going. That's the baby zombie! <laughs> Burn, boy! Burn! Alright. Glass. Alright, so that's one done. As you can see, I reckon it looks pretty good. Maybe we'll have some plants out here, maybe a tree or two, just to liven up the view. So let's do number two. Nice. We've got both the windows done. Wow. It's coming together. As you can see, I'm trying to get some grass to grow into here so we can have some nice little just, just a plant area, like in the front, how we have these sort of plotted, potted looking areas. We might have some over there, but maybe with a few more leaves this time. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna put here. Is this gonna be stained glass? Or is this, maybe this should be stained glass and that could be just a wall. Or maybe they can both be stained glass. Well, I'm thinking the classic Red, blue, and yellow. Oh, I don't know. I do not know. I feel like... Okay, well... Let's try... This. Wait. Does collecting flowers make me gay? Okay, so I've just made some stained glass of red, blue, and yellow. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this maybe up to here. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty appropriate. Boink, boink. 
Yes. Okay, so this one's going to be yellow. Oh, that's a vibrant color. Look at that. I've never really played around with uh, stained glass. Not even in creative, so... Don't know how this is going to go. And then we'll do this one blue. Red. Okay. Definitely said I was going to put blue here, didn't I? Shh. Doing. It's growing, it's growing. What about this one? This is also growing. Cool. Cool Leos. Cool beans. Epic style. That's pretty neat. I mean, it should look better with the garden. And if all else fails, I'll just go back and replace it with light grey stained glass. Let's get this outside area a going. Alright, so I'm going to mark out the area in which I will be using for the garden. So it's not going to be that big, but it's not going to be small either. And in fact, I'm going to move this out one more. So let me just destroy this. I don't need to destroy these ones because there's going to be grass over them. Um, there you go. Alright, so here's the sort of gist of it as you can see um, I've just run out of stone bricks so I'm actually gonna harvest these and place them in and I've also got some more stone cooking so what I'm gonna do next is obviously finish just the stone bricks tidy up underwater now I'm gonna fill all this in with dirt so just so it's all level and then I'll do some terraforming so on and so forth so I'll see you guys then Alright, alright. A little bit of a change of plans. Um, ah! See, I was trying to do a dramatic open up and reveal what I've done, but I guess I'll just break my legs instead. So what I've done is I have terraformed this area so it's a little bit lower so that we can set up the wall to not let any mobs in. I'll be putting half slabs all along here as well and I'll tidy that up so it's looking a little bit fresher with a capital PH. As you can see, I've gone with a more natural garden shape. Uh, I think this is going to work better than the rigid box. Um, just to preserve a little bit of that natural splendor, as Dolores from Westworld would say. If we do this right, this could turn very nice, but at the same time, because of the shape, I'm going to have to work around it. We should have a gazebo here. A gazebo would be sick. Maybe some custom trees here and there. This is looking ugly as shit. The most ugly thing I've ever seen. I thought it was going to be cool. I mean, it was for a little bit. And then I realized that it's just like... It's still feeling super bland. It just... It looks like a creative graveyard. Like, you come from this. This magnificence. Bedroom, storage room, paintings, and the archways to... An open space with a with a bar. The bar's looking cool. I love the bar, but there needs to be something else. I don't. I really don't know what I want to do, mate. <sighs> Maybe I could build like a skeleton hanging from the ceiling, like like a sea serpent or a big snake or something like that, made out of bone blocks. And also, I'm definitely changing this back to grey because it's just it goes directly against the rest of the builds like aesthetic like you've got reds you've got deep golds and a hint of green in some areas and then you've got fluorescent yellow fluorescent blue and yeah this is just not gonna work and on top of that it's just like the red on the window it just doesn't complement anything and I'm just gonna change it but yeah I'm gonna fill this in I'm gonna change that I'm gonna change the windows uh, I'm probably gonna remove this hill and then, or maybe like just shave it down by two and we'll work from there. I'll fill this in, okay. And then I'll do the bone blocks like in my spare time because that would probably take a while to plan and execute and stuff. So let's do that.
Alright, so I have replaced those with normal gray, light grey glass and it's looking a lot better. Um, I definitely need to do some work around this area and especially this area as well. It's just looking plain. I don't know how to explain it. So I'll probably have bushes here and over there and probably here too. Make some nice detailing using a spruce wood and maybe some dark oak if I feel like it. Um, I've completely terraformed this place as well as that corner and that corner. Um, obviously I didn't show you that because you've had enough thanks to me carving the aisle. Stupid videos, why did I make them? I'm going to skip ahead into the future and this skip is going to be quite large because by the time it's done I should have paths that go around the garden. I should have some like some of the garden set up and I should also have this bone structure set up and this like just a little bit tidier, a little bit more detailed because I, I want it to just fit in with the rest of the build. Right now it's just not feeling that way. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Huh. So we're back. Oops. Um. So since I don't know how I ended it last time, but since I said goodbye, well not goodbye, since I said I would I'd do some stuff and get back to you, it's been a week, a full week that has been kind of a uh, interesting. Um. I've dropped out of uni because it's not something I want to be doing. It's just not at all what I expected. Uh, I'm not enjoying what I was learning or what I was doing at least. So I've decided to drop out until I can figure out what I want to do. So I'm going to get a job or two, I'm going to earn some money and then I don't know, see how things come towards me. So, with sunset approaching, sunrise, sorry, sunrise approaching, let me show you what I've done over the past week or so. I'm really, really on and off because it's been quite an effort trying to get everything done with the whole unenrollment stuff. I've been putting my CV together. You've already seen all this. What you haven't seen is, ta-da, look at that, isn't that beautiful? We've got our skeleton of what I think is a dinosaur, maybe? Um, down here, I don't know if you can see it, but we've got an aquarium, and over there are some fishies. Cute. Anyway, so, we've got the skeleton, we've got the bar, which is very nice. Um, when we update it, I'll change this to a barrel, because that's just, that just makes more sense, right? Um, we've I've actually changed this part into a staircase rather than using the garden area that I think I had there before. I've incorporated some more spruce like poles into the build just to make this less med medieval, I guess. Everything else is the same. Got some plants over here. What's the um light level over here? Ooh, that needs some light. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. This is eight, okay, that will be fine. So, that's what I've done here. Um, obviously on the other side as well, I still need to put some leaves down here like I did on the other side just to match it up. I hear a zombie, but that's okay. So, it's looking very nice. It's looking very nice indeed. Um, and then we've got the this area, it's just like prepared. Uh, we've terraformed. Excuse me? Anyway, so we terraformed the earth so that mobs should not be able to... They can definitely get on <laughs> from there. I don't know if the AI is smart enough for that yet. I mean, look at this kid. Can't even predict where I'm going. What a nerd. Um, yeah, so I think it's probably good to stop there. Um, I'm going to end this with a clip of me... 
Uh, okay, no, you, you, you just see, you just see what happens. Advice: If you don't love what you're doing, don't do what you're doing. And if you don't love what you do next, try. Try again. And again. Until you find something you truly shut the. F until you find something you truly enjoy. And at that point, you'll know you've got something good going for you. Catch ya. What the? Is that a skeleton horse? What the hell? Oh! 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 oh no! No! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Uh, hello? I'm so confused right now.